All right, so today I am working in Windows Terminal and I've got PowerShell opened up. And one of my common frustrations when it comes to terminal output is if I have a lot of it and I have to scroll back to figure out where I'm at, at some point I just don't wanna see any of the history anymore. And of course, in PowerShell, I can use Control L that will redraw the screen and it'll put the prompt up at the top. So it looks like everything's gone, but if I scroll up here, you can see I still have the output. So if I really wanna clear this out, I'd have to use something like the clear command and that will get rid of the history, or I could use the CLS command. So control L just doesn't cut it. That said, I don't wanna to have to type out clear every time I wanna clear the history. I want a key binding to do that. So to set that up, if I list out some files again here, get some history. If I open up the command palette, control shift P, there's an option here for clearing the buffer. If I choose that, that does the same thing as the clear command. And of course, I don't wanna invoke the command palette every time, so control comma opens up the settings here come over to actions and I'll add a new action. From the list, I'll choose clear buffer. And then in my case, I assign control K. It's a lot like command K that I have set up on my Mac inside of iTerm, right? And then I just check the box here, make sure you come down and save this and then close out of the settings. And now if I list out some files here, get some history, if I just hit control K, you can see it's all gone. So control K can now replace control L. And I find this helpful because a lot of times I'm looking at some command output, maybe a few commands in sequence, and I wanna focus on just that. And if I have to scroll back through the output and I start running into older commands, it can be frustrating to disambiguate where the commands I care about are at. And so oftentimes when I switch tasks or subjects, I'll just clear out the entire history, start with a new screen, and then I know if I need to scroll back, I know it's only gonna be relevant output.